What's going on guys, Spasmatic here, back inside Destiny 2, and I want to put up a quick video showcasing some Arbalista gameplay and the Disruption Break perk, because I wanted to test how much damage Disruption Break actually does. And the Arbalist was introduced within the Revelry event this week, it's the first linear fusion rifle that's in the primary slot, so it's definitely a unique weapon. The Arbalist is obtainable by completing the Party Hard Triumph, and this requires you to complete any 7 triumphs during the event. This really isn't that hard to do, and they're all pretty self-explanatory, so it shouldn't be too stressful at all. And I'd also like to add in that the Arbalist is the same archetype as the Man of War, Tarantula, and Crooked Fang. Linear Fusion Rifles all have a charge time of 533, and with an impact of 41, so it's pretty much like having a heavy weapon in your primary slot, except you have ammo, because it takes special ammo. Energy ammo. It's really pretty good, I'd say, in my opinion. So, to start off with the perks on this thing, it has Compounding Force. This perk allows it to fire slugs that cause massive damage to elemental shields of enemy combatants. It's also got Extended Barrel, Projection Fuse, Disruption Break, and Composite Stock. Disruption Break was the main reason why I wanted to test the damage output of this weapon. Disruption Break is whenever you break an enemy shield with the weapon, it makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period of time. This is important to notice because it pairs well with the Compounding Force perk. Since the Arbalist is a kinetic weapon, it will do more damage to any enemy that just got its shield broken by, obviously, the Arbalist. So, after talking about the perks on the Arbalist, I really wanted to test the actual numbers on this thing and see how much more damage Disruption Break actually does. I ended up going to the Lost Sector on Mercury because the boss in the Lost Sector has a shield and it was just easy to test on once I cleared out all the ads. So, starting off with the damage when the Disruption Break perk is active, it does 15,939 damage as a critical hit and 6,368 damage as a body shot. So testing that without the Disruption Break perk active, a critical hit does 10,626 damage, and a body shot does 4,246 damage. And if you do the math on this, 10,626 times 1.5 is exactly 15,939, meaning that the Disruption Break perk does a 50% increase in damage whenever you take the shield off an enemy with the Arbalist and then shoot it again right after with the Arbalist. So this is a pretty significant buff because you're obviously doing 50% more damage. And it also tells you that it's probably worth breaking the shields off enemies with the Arbalist rather than your energy weapon because you'll be getting that 50% damage buff and obviously you won't be getting that buff if you take the shield off with your energy weapon. So want to put that out there so this is a quick video showcasing the damage of disruption break i don't have like any pvp gameplay or anything because it's just it one taps to the head and it's basically like any other uh legendary linear fusion in the game it just has i'd say it's more of a pv weapon because the uh shield perk on it and it's pretty good for clearing out ads and stuff like that um that have shields so definitely recommend that for uh for PvE. So, after showcasing the damage output of Disruption Break and some general gameplay of the Arbalist, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions or any other concerns, feel free to comment them down below. Just wanted to make a quick video on the, obviously, the damage output of Disruption Break. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. I'm back inside Destiny 2. Peace.